We know fucking everything, Malik. You were behind the embassy bombings and all the others too. So let's hear you say it. The earlier bombings, what are you... Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank, even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power, and fast. You're a fucking liar. You knew about Zero Day before you approached us. I'm a spy, so yes. I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Zero Day or not, you've done bad enough on your own. You're gonna rot in here. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are. Dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. You'll like this. Got word from Hamish that Nigel Cass is planning to unveil some new nasty projects at a press conference. And why in fuck's name would I like that? Albion's always got some dirty fucking plan going. Because Hamish has convinced his Albion contact to talk to us. Apparently it took some doing, since Radu's a squirrely sort. He's been especially agitated lately. But he has insider information we could use. The meeting's at the Drowning Post. Wouldn't buy in the drink while you plan to give Nigel Cass a beating of his fucking life. 